It's the rainy season in Ahihik, and sometimes it rains. Sometimes it rains so hard that my pool overflows. Tonight, it's raining so hard that my sump pump that clears the sidewalk here is not able to keep up. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Hey, I have to wish my friend Joel a happy birthday today. He's going to be seven years old. Happy birthday. You know, here in Mexico, my name is Jerry, but my Mexican friends call me Yeri sometimes. So I guess if uh, we were going to wish you happy birthday from Mexico, Joel, it would be Feliz Cumpleaños, Joel. Hey, study hard, mind your mom, and do a little bit of laughing every day. Happy birthday, Joel. I was back in the dental office the other day with Lynn, and they let me take a picture of this machine that makes teeth. Uh, I don't know what stage of the process this is in, but that little white block down there is going to be a ceramic crown. And if you want to see the rest of the machine, go back to my video on uh, dental work in Mexico. I'll put a card up here for that. Well, it's a beautiful sunny day. Let's go and see if we can find any birds down by the lake. That's the avocado tree we trimmed back three months ago, and it is coming back like gangbusters. There's only one little avocado on there. It's going to be as big as a basketball with the, the whole tree supporting it. That one over there behind it that still looks real bare is a ficus. And uh, it's got little leaves on it, probably not seeing them in the picture, but it's going to be a lot more months before it comes back. Well, it's windy today. The sound of the waves is very pleasing to me. Lake Chapala, Jalisco, Mexico, the largest lake in Mexico. It's 80 kilometers long and at its widest place about 20 kilometers wide. You see all this trash on the beach? It washes up at night when the wind is strong and the waves are big. It's not that people come down here and throw their trash. That happens, but not very much. The good news is that they bring down busloads of high school students from Guadalajara to clean up the beach occasionally. Mexico is working to be a cleaner place and a greener place. I saw a sign in a restaurant the other day that says you have to ask for a straw because they're trying to limit their use of plastic. And they sell those uh, cloth bags for your groceries in several stores. It's all very encouraging to me. We can't walk any farther here. The water comes in in the summertime from the rainy season, which is like middle of June to um, beginning middle of October. And in the dry season, the water is about right out there. So there's a lot more room to walk here. It's a cyclical thing, it happens every year. The water goes in and out. We don't have very many birds here this time of the year compared to most of the winter because in the wintertime, we have pelicans and sandpipers and all kinds of ducks and night herons and all of these great egrets, but they've, a lot of them have gone north for the summer. If you want to see more birds and some of the other things that go on here at the lake, like uh, I talk about a mountain lion and some goats and a guy fishing in the lake, it's a video I did about a year ago called Birds of Lake Chapala. I'll put a link up here. The red over there is bougainvillea, and up here above our heads, these are our 
papaya. They turn orange, of course, when they're ripe. Quite often you see papaya just growing wild around here, like alongside the road. What did you say? I, I grew these flowers, all of them. I planted them and I took care of them for six, 17 years and they're just beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. Hey Lynn, you want to say happy birthday to Joel? Sure. Happy birthday, Joel. Hi, I didn't want this to be part of Joel's birthday wishes, but I have to tell you this story about me saying Feliz Cumpleaños. That N at the end of the word Cumpleaños has one of those squiggly little lines over the top of the N. It's called a tilde. Uh, I think another name for it is Omniglot. Anyway, it indicates that you pronounce it differently, so it's Cumpleaños. And my English-speaking tongue has trouble doing that. I have to consciously make my tongue do the instead of just pronouncing the N like we do in English. So, uh, this became quite um, uh, 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 apparent to me when I went to my doctor one time and I wished him Feliz Año Nuevo. See, here's why it's important, because Año in Spanish means year, and ano without the tilde above the n, ano means anus. So, feliz ano nuevo. And my doctor says, Jerry, I'm really glad you're trying to practice your Spanish, but let's talk about this for a minute. First of all, I'm not your proctologist. And he's laughing because Mexicans have a great sense of humor. If, if you get some Mexican friends, I guarantee you there's going to be some laughing. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.